Hello Disney fans, happy Monday. Welcome to part two of my most recent Jump Disney haul. On Friday I posted everything I got from May the 4th and today is just kind of a mix of things. I've had a few items sitting around for a while that I was waiting for some other things to come and some things were coming late and it's just a whole just a whole thing. But we're here now. A bunch of stuff came and I cannot wait to show it to you. I'm first going to start off with the keys. This has been sitting in my room untouched for like two weeks and I've been so excited to show it to you because this is the princess key that came out quite a few weeks ago and this one was free with a purchase. You'd like use a code at checkout to get this one and it is beautiful. I was very very happy with the quality and detail of this one. So let's just take a closer look. The Disney Ultimate Princess Celebration Shop Disney Disney Store Key. This tag I believe is the first tag that fully opens up like this to state the Ultimate Princess Celebration courage and kindness. It has all of these really great gold, metallic, shimmery, shiny details all over it. It is beautiful for the quality and this is like a really thick like card stock paper. It is all shiny like it is very very nice and of course it is on the gold ribbon. I don't know. I'm just very, very happy with how this key looks. It looks very fancy and I feel like it, it represents the princesses very, very well. I look at this and I think of all the different castles because here the D is a nice, like, toned down gold with these very, like, floral, like, white details on it. And then that continues down the stem of the key. The handle portion actually has logos representing all of the Disney princess ages, which I think is so magical. Like so very cool to look at each symbol and think about which character that is, the story they have, the songs they sing, all of those things. Just very very nice and it has more little gold detailings there down to the end with a very very sparkly gold castle. Now this gold doesn't really match the gold in the rest of it but I think this was a great touch to have that little bit of magic at the very very end and the glitter is not coming off so that is also a very very good sign. This key was mailed through Shop Disney once again with this plastic over it. I feel like these keys are getting a little bit thicker, a little bit better quality. Like I don't think Yes, you could still break this, but some of them are like kind of thin, I feel like, that they could have destroyed in shipping. So it was put in this, which I appreciate at least, so it wasn't getting scratched up. I don't know if you guys could hear that, that was kind of barking. But I really, really like this key. I'm so glad that they're like continuing to do it and using them to like showcase different series or different events and different characters and movies and just all the different like milestones and things. And another series that Disney just launched recently is the Rainbow Disney Collection. This key looks so cool. I think this might be one of my favorite box keys just because of how vibrant it is. The whole box is all black and white which is very very nice because then these super vibrant colors stand out on it and it is like almost neon but like not there yet. Just the colors stand out on this one very very well. You can see it does have the Shop Disney information there on the back and for the key itself it's kind of hard to see it through this window but of course the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple all the stripes going down in one direction there. You can see on the handle Mickey running away. <laughs> he looks so cute. It's almost like a little like stop motion kind of effect that they're having here. And at the end it says love. And I really love the rainbow that they did in the castle on how it's like fading in or out there from the entrance. I think it looks really, really nice. Again, I love the vibrant colors of this. The next item I had sitting around for a little bit that I'm really looking forward to putting up is the castle pin. Finally another castle pin. This is series 7 of 10 so we are pretty close. I kind of forgot how close we were but we are very very close to having the completed display case. Here on the back you can see the description of the castle collection. A 10 bi-monthly series release celebrating the stories of our most beloved 
Heroes. This was $29.99. This is an official Disney pin trading pin, which I always mention just for the authenticity, but if I saw someone trade this, that would be so strange. Like, I don't know. I've never seen anyone trade a jumbo or like a hinged pin like this big. So I think that would be super interesting. But if you want to trade it, if you change your mind about it, you can do that. This is a two pin back pin and whenever you open it up it does say limited release there on the very very back and this one has a gold outline. It also has all of the logos just like here on the cardboard with the gold finishes, the logo for the princess and the Disney castle collection. I always try to zoom in really really close on the castles because they are all 3D layered. All of the little spires here of Jasmine's palace castle you can see that they are actually raised off of the back which i think is super nice it is all screen printed which i'm not like a super huge fan of but it really does capture the details and i think it works very very well with this collection when you open up the hinged portion when you look at the inside it is very very vibrant and colorful i love all the colors they stand out so so well and I look at this for such a long time at all the different rooms some of them a majority of them you get to see in the movie but others you don't so it's really really cool to see what the full castle looks like inside we're gonna hang that up here at the end of the video but I'm excited to show you some other things real quick that I found at Target so this is super random but it will tie into the next thing I'm gonna talk about so just bear with me for a moment the Disney ducks I talked about them in a live stream I think I showed them, I did show them in a video at one point, but they've gotten more in since. One of the many targets I go to had a bunch of them the other day, and I think because summer is approaching, they're starting to get that kind of fun outdoor toy stuff out. So I wanted to show you that I found Donald Dollar, it was a dollar, it's in like the dollar section, like in the front of Target, Sully, and Elsa. I love the characters they're choosing to do. I love the colors of them and they're a great price. They're fun to display and I just wanted to let you know that those are out there. And the reason I bring that up is also in the dollar section of Target, just wait, just wait, I found this. And you're like, why are we looking at this? Well, you see, Mother Cupcake saw a post about someone buying this for their new emos and I love to find things for the new emos that even aren't like branded for them. This was five dollars. This is the ketchup and mustard holder. Again it was in like that front dollar like section. So you can use these in the summertime but look at that. A park bench a like I'm gonna put it next to the castle and they can be chilling in the hub grass sitting on a bench like this is so very cute yes there's the holes there maybe they can sit in there or just on top of it either way fantastic find even if you don't have new emos like this would be so fun to stack some sum sums on or like something like a little plush that you have I just think it's so cute because like walking by at like first glance, I probably would have just would have been like, oh, it's just like a little wood base with like these in it. But no, it's a little bench. And I think it's going to work so very well with them. It is all wood. It's like very like sturdy too. Like this feels like it would be like a toy. I think it's so adorable. Again, wanted to mention it because here we go. Here's where it all ties in. Are you ready? <laughs> new, new emos outfits and... They're releasing two new outfit sets. I believe on June 7th is the first Monday of the month. Corella DeVille being the first one, so like rock and roll kind of style. And the other one is camping, which is so cute. I really hope that they release the tent. But if not, the items look so great. This is the set from May, though, and their beachy theme which I was really excited about although they didn't release as many outfits as I thought. I wish that they had more 
like beachy like swimsuit like summer ones because whenever it's hot out I don't want to put them in their camping gear with coats and things so I really hope that in July they release more like summer like tank tops and shorts and all that because taking them to the parks it's pretty hot I'd feel bad putting them in a jacket so I picked up these two outfits for the time being to have for my summary display. The first one we're gonna look at I think is the most like beachy swim wear that I have. This was $12.99 and this is the Disney New Emos Fashion Collection 3. So we're on series 3. This is for ages 6 plus and the background, the backing is all the same. A closer look at the items, it comes with a little towel. The towel I wouldn't say is the best of quality. It is screen printed. It is like double layered sewn together. So there is this like weird seam on it, but it does kind of feel like a towel. So that's pretty fun. The outfit itself is really, really cute. It has all of these palm leaves and little Hawaiian flowers all over it. It is a two piece set and it is just a little open jacket like piece, just like a little Hawaiian shirt to throw on over top. It's very, very thin. It doesn't like Velcro together or anything in the front. It is just all an open shirt. And then you have the very stretchy elastic pants, which I really like because they're just very, very easy to get on. And I love how it's all just like a one piece matchy print set. And then the other item here at the bottom, you get many pieces in this set are flip flops. And I'm very interested to see how those work on the Nuimos, how well they actually stay on. They have very fuzzy bottoms and then the tops are very plasticky. Not the highest of quality on the very like strap portion, but I love the colors. I really, really hope this looks cute on them in person. It looked cute on the picture online and so did this one. Once again, $12.99 from the fashion collection number three, ages six plus. This is it's just a really cute little springy like yellow dress. I think this looks a little bit more spring-like, but either way it's adorable. It has this really nice straw hat. It is fuzzy on the inside though, which is kind of interesting. It's not all of this like material, but I love the different textures they used. Even the dress has lace on it and it velcros all the way down in the back. It has the little ribbon straps and this almost picnic blanket looking yellow print on it. It's a little bit rough but I love the vibe of it and it even has a little purse with an embroidered flower. Cute little handles. I think it's such a cute set and I cannot wait to put them on. So let's get the castle pin up. All right, so we have case the plastic from the original packaging so I can line it up. That looks so good. I'm in love with it. I love also on a random side now how easy it is to open up these new Emos outfits. They only have a few little things attaching them to the cardboard. It is just so easy to take off and I love how you don't have to cut like super close to the fabric either rip it but I'm definitely going to cut this tag off of the flip-flop because what <laughs> the characters I chose to dress up today in their beachy like attire is Mickey and Minnie they'll go on a little beach date and it will be so very very cutesy okay so there he is so very happy in his little matchy matchy outfit okay yep yep they're perfect <laughs> they look really really cute and i think they're on like pretty tight also like i'm very surprised <laughs> maybe <laughs> but like generally though like they're they're on better than i thought i thought they were gonna like fly off like that immediately the big question now that we see that they stay on pretty well is can they stand up in this? And I don't think it's gonna be very different from the shoes because the shoes have the same base. So we're good. All good, love the flip flops. I think they're so much fun. He looks so funny, I love it. And then the towel accessory. I love how they're starting to expand to more accessories. The little towel, <laughs> how cute, like throw it over his shoulder, there he is. And in case you missed it in a recent mail video, I received the pull float 
for the new emos from Japan. I cannot wait for summer. That is... That's... That's... Now this outfit is going to be very, very easy to put on. I actually just took the Tinkerbell outfit off of Minnie and this is like the exact same as that. It has like the little ribbon straps and everything. It almost feels the same and the Velcro is straight down the back. So one of the easiest outfit to put on is any of the dresses. It's a little bit long on her, but like it looks cute that it's kind of big. And then the hats. The hats kind of make me a little bit sad. I wish that they had like a strap under them. Here in the US they don't, but I know a lot of the ones from Japan do. I love this series. I think the outfits just keep getting better. I love this look. It, it almost reminds me of like a dapper day outfit. Like dapper day was just kind of recently. And I feel like this would have been perfect for Minnie on Dapper Day. And this little purse is a wonderful accessory. I know it's focusing on me right now, but it fits on their arm really well. Again, not sliding off, not like the flip-flops. It's a little like snug to get on. So that's really good that that wouldn't fall off. If you're taking your new emo out and about in this adorable outfit, I did also want to mention that this does open up. I don't really think you could like fit anything in there unless you have one of like, the little like food accessories I showed you in one of the DIY videos or like the mini brands I know we talked about fit with the new emos so those you probably fit like one item in there but other than that I think these outfits are super adorable totally forgot to show what the new emos look like on the bench I put them in this I can't handle this and I also realized that the um like mention about the bench like where um, Mommy Cupcake saw that, was actually a comment here on the channel. So but thank you whoever recommended this because this is literally my new favorite thing right here. Kylo is also enjoying it. As you can see right here, he's doing great. You guys may have saw last week was his birthday, so he's four now and he is living the dream here with these little friends. <laughs> Look at this. Like, do you think it's cute? Like, I, I'm gonna take her hat off for a second. Them on this bench is perfect. Like, actually perfect. If you have a new emo, you love it. <laughs> Get this bench. Like, $5 for cuteness. All of that cute. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, okay. Let me know in the comments what item from this video was your favorite. I would love to hear about it. Or let me know what new emos outfits you would like to see in the future. I'm so excited. I love these so very much. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And remember to do what you love and do what makes you happy. And I will see you all next time. Bye.